Well, now to NBC's Raf Sanchez, who got that first-hand look at hundreds of Palestinians fleeing Gaza. Raf, uh, on one hand, this is a way to safety, right? On the other hand, it's people having to flee from their homes. So tell us more about what you saw and heard. Yeah, Chris, we were on the edge of Gaza City. We were on Salahadin Street, which is normally one of the busiest roads in Gaza. It is now part of what Israel is calling a humanitarian corridor. We watched as thousands of Palestinian civilians walking on foot down that street, whole families, little children with their knapsacks, parents holding babies. There were older people in wheelchairs. And Israel says this is a sign of its commitment to getting civilians out of Gaza City where the battle is raging. They say their war is only against Hamas, not against the people of Gaza. But for many Palestinians, this feels and looks like forced displacement. And they don't know if they're ever going to be able to go back to their homes. That is a question that we put to the Israeli military spokesman. I want you to take a listen to what he said. Can you guarantee that these people will be able to return home one day? I think that that is really going to be in the hands of a lot of different players. One of the main ones is going to be Hamas. So, Chris, no guarantee there that these people will be able to return home. Some news breaking in just the last couple of minutes, Chris. The Israeli military is announcing it has found the body of Israeli hostage Yehudi Weiss, a 65-year-old mother who was kidnapped from the kibbutz Beri on October 7th. Her husband was murdered at the same time during that Hamas terror attack. The Israeli military not giving any details on the cause of death. But they are saying that her body was found in a building near the Shifa Hospital, Israel, uh, Gaza's largest medical facility, where, of course, Israeli forces were operating yesterday, operating again today. They say uh, she was found nearby, not clear exactly where. Um, the situation, as we've been talking about for days now, Chris, inside of that hospital is dire. The World Health Organization says it is no longer functioning. There is no medical care because of power being out, water being out. A lot of concern about those prematurely born babies who are out of their incubators because there is no power there. And Chris, over the last couple of days, we have been able to check in with doctors at that hospital by phone. But tonight, that is not an option because phone service is down all across Gaza, according to the two main Palestinian phone companies, because they say they have simply run out of fuel and they can no longer provide service. Chris. Russ Sanchez, thank you for that.